Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about chronological versus mental and emotional aging, which can be different depending on how our lives evolve and the experiences we have had. Please go back and listen to episode 16 if you haven't already done so. I think you'll find some really good takeaways from that discussion. Today, I want to talk about courage and what it really means. By definition, courage is the ability to do that thing that frightens one or strength in the face of pain or grief. I would bet that most of us think of courage as Tarzan pounding his chest in confidence. That is the glamorized and the media-driven definition of courage. The true meaning of courage is more like the little engine in the book, The Little Engine That Could, that repeats to himself over and over again as he faces climbing a daunting hill, I think I can, I think I can. Courage exemplified is the underdog in a boxing match who keeps fighting again and sometimes wins. Winning, however, is not required to be courageous. Being willing to do it afraid is required. There's a scripture that tells us to be strong and courageous, and another that says, take courage, don't let your hands be weak, for your work will be rewarded. John Wayne is quoted as saying, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. Mark Twain has said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. Do you see a pattern here? You don't become courageous when fear leaves. As I said earlier, you do it afraid. That is true courage. Because life is not always going to present itself in ways that make hard, daunting, big, or new things easy for us. Anything really big or unfamiliar is always going to cause you to tremble just a little bit. But we tend to be creatures of habit and we like to know the next step or the outcome before launching out into the deep. Um, So when faced with something that threatens our security or our comfort, we tend to become a little bit afraid. The point is don't let fear stop you. I believe fear is one of the most, if not the most paralyzing issues that you know we face in our lives. Fear is always asking why. Courage is asking why not? Fear says, what if you fail? Courage says, what if you succeed? Fear wants you to note everything that could go wrong. Courage encourages you to consider everything that could go right. Courage will always propel you forward or challenge you to do it or to try it afraid. Fear will cause you to stand still. There's a quote, sometimes fear does not subside and you must do it afraid. There's another quote, courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. It means you don't let fear stop you. And yet another, Courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is doing what you want to do or need to do in the face of fear. You can't wait until you don't feel fear because fear is always going to be present and always going to try to stop you. So this thing called life is always going to present us with challenges and opportunities and open doors that will, you know, could cause us to be fearful. Having a a baby as a new and first time mom, you know, getting a a big job promotion, having to, you know, do public speaking as a very shy person, investing money, making a big geographical move, launching, you know, a new business. All of these examples and so many others that you and I can probably think of could paralyze us with fear if we let fear stop us. Today, I'm encouraging you and myself to not let fear get in the way of living your best life, of trying new things, or of taking advantage of opportunities, relationships, and experiences that life has to offer you. Learn to do things afraid. Otherwise, you might find yourself at the end of your life reflecting on what would have, what could have, what should have happened in your life, whereas the pathways of doing it afraid may have led to some of your greatest life rewards and accomplishments and achievements and events and happiness. Um, there's a few quotes I, w- I want to close with. Uh, and, and the first one is, it, it says, stay afraid, but do it anyway. What's important is the action. You don't have to wait to be confident. Just do it and eventually confidence will follow. The next quote, 
one can choose to go back toward safety or forward toward growth. Growth must be chosen again and again. Fear must be overcome again and again. There's another quote. Anything really worth doing in our lives will always have some fear attached to it. Another one. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It's going on when you don't have the strength. Yet another quote. Sometimes what you're most afraid of doing is the very thing that will set you free. And my final quote. The phrase, do not be afraid, is written in the Bible 365 times. One for every day of the year. That's a daily reminder from God to live every day being fearless. I'm going to leave you with five takeaway words. They are, be courageous, do it afraid. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.